Hello and welcome to a new video. So in today's video, I'm going to attempt something I've never done before, which is I'm going to try and go and rank every single Nespresso pot. So I'm going to be used the SABC scale, S meaning the best, superior, unparalleled, uh, better quality coffee and taste experience. And the A, B and C, they will slowly go down on that scale with C being the worst that I would not recommend ever ever and I just can't stand it. So just remember that these are my personal opinions. I am not sponsored by any coffee company and uh, I always purchase my coffee with my own money and uh, I'm not a professional scientist to tell you which coffee to buy so make your own decision. This is just for entertainment purpose. So. Let's rank some coffee. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, so let's get started. So I would like to start in no particular order. These are the latest capsules that I've tried. It's the filter style mild and filter style intense. Um, if you have watched my short reviews, you will know that these are the worst capsules that I've ever tasted from Nespresso. Definitely not for me. Both of these are the same. I can't tell the difference. I can't tell them apart. So even though one is intense, one is mild, there's no difference. There's no flavor. Uh, they're so watery. They are more watered down than any other capsule that I've tried and they're just a waste of your time. So just make yourself a drip coffee or something else if you want watery coffee not for me okay the Rio de Janeiro uh, I've tried this one in store I never purchased it myself I find that it's probably the only as no not the only let's not jump the gun <laughs> it's one of the worst espresso capsules uh, because it's it has a herbal sour smoky ashtray flavor so yeah uh no i will not have this willingly and even if there's nothing available i will not have this next we have the istanbul espresso this one is one of the best like i'm so happy they introduced this capsule like i cannot believe that this is now part of their permanent collection i believe it was supposed to be just a seasonal release they released it, this one, the Istanbul together with the Paris Espresso. I think both of these are fantastic. Let's just, just put it here. Um, they are my most repurchased capsule in this year. Basically, since they launched every single month, I'm repurchasing this because they are so good. The Istanbul Espresso is just the perfect cup of espresso. It's chocolatey, it's intense, uh, it's not overly bitter. It doesn't have that smoky ashtray flavor that that makes a bad cup of coffee in my taste, in my opinion. And it's also not too acidic that you feel that sour, whiny, uh, like a wine alcohol taste on your mouth after drinking this. It's so, so, so good. It's like a drinking a dark chocolate that it's not sweet. So Paris Espresso has a little bit more of a smoky flavor but it's so good in milk coffee so i like both of these in cappuccinos in lattes the flavor really comes through it doesn't dilute in water so or milk just fantastic i hope they keep releasing this now let's go to the flavored ones okay the flavored ones i would say that this one is the Nocciola. Nocciola is the mm, hazelnut, sorry. <laughs> I don't know why they name it like this, like it, it's confusing. So the Nocciola is uh, one of the best among the, um, the flavored coffee releases and it is my favorite. So this one, um, if you don't like hazelnut flavor, you may not like this, so this is very personal to me. I think it's the best, the best they released. And I don't usually drink 
flavored coffee from Nespresso, but you have to trust me when I say this is the best. They've previously released a collaboration with a French pastry chef, I believe, I'm not sure, during the Christmas edition. I will insert the picture if I can find it, but that one was horrible. I tried it in store twice and I felt like I want to vomit. The, the perfume essence was too strong and too fake and it just, yeah, it's just disturbing. You know, sometimes when, when you, you add perfume or too much essence to food, it just, it's not a nice combination. But this one, this one is good. It's not those disgusting, it's not overpowering. Uh, if you have it with milk, you'll just have a slight hint of smell. There's no flavor that you can actually taste. But yeah, it just gives it a nice uh, roasted nuts smell, which is great. Um, followed by uh, caramello. Okay, caramello is also good. If you are looking for a flavored coffee, these two are the best. Um, is it better than the previous one? I can't really tell a difference. I believe they just repackaged the previous caramel pod and put it in this one. The previous one was also good. Um, yeah, maybe this one, they reduced the, the intensity of the smell, which didn't bother me even before, but it's good. It's really good. And one more thing that I like about these flavored coffees is that they made them more intense. So now you can brew a longer cup of coffee. You can actually do a lungo with the of new flavors, flavored coffees from Nespresso, and it's not diluted. It's still strong and nice, and this is also great for iced because um, you can make stronger iced beverages. So yeah, it's great. Now the Chocolatino and the Vanilla, let's go with Chocolatino is, if there's nothing else available, I'll have this, okay? There's nothing special. The smell is not great. It it's kind of the only thing that I remember about this capsule is that it smells bad. It smells like garbage. So it's supposed to be a cocoa flavored coffee pod, but the smell is not great. You can't taste the cocoa. There's nothing chocolatey about it. Like no. If if there's nothing else there, it's a good cup of coffee, but I would not pay extra to get the chocolate flavor when there isn't one. So Next, the vanilla, uh, no, again, if there's nothing else available, I wanted to put, give it an A, okay rating, but no. Uh, now I remember that the flavor, it's really disappointing. I do not expect the vanilla flavor pot to taste like this. It tastes sour, it tastes like yeast, and it tastes like bread, so no. Let's just move it here, then. Yeah, it's actually the worst of the range. So on the same note, the Chiaro. This one is too mild. And it's specifically designed to be served with milk. And if you add milk to this coffee, it's bad. You don't taste any coffee at all, like anything. Like if you're a baby, if you're just trying coffee for the first time, maybe you will feel there's a coffee taste, but no this one is and even the taste is not good it's so acidic and so sour and it is like green green grass or something unripe and no it, it's horrible I, I i tried it both i i know some people like it but not no 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 not for me the skura first of all it's the medium intensity from the same range they are also made for um milk beverages which is latte or cappuccino there's nothing special i would not pay extra for this so let's go to the next one the my favorite from this barista creations is the corto it's more intense you can actually feel the flavor in iced coffees with milk and yeah it's it's an okay pot i would probably repurchase this if it wasn't more expensive than regular pods so for that i don't feel there's any value you can have any nespresso capsule with milk don't try to be fooled by oh these are specifically designed for milk they're better no they're not there's nothing special about them but the, this one is okay the corto is okay i don't hate it okay so now 
we have the Inspirazione Roma. This is also okay. <laughs> I've repurchased this. I put it in my top five mild, medium mild coffees. Um, I have it right now in my kitchen. It's an okay. It's an everyday pot. It's something that you can drink every day without getting bored. Is there anything special about it? Is it the best of the best of the flavors that you can never forget? No, <laughs> but it's a good pot. It's a medium balanced good pot if to start if you're a beginner and you're not sure whether you like dark roasts, a medium, just start with Roma. Venezia, okay, okay. Venezia, we're getting something good. Um, it's one of my top five ever forever <laughs> that i've ever tried from nespresso it's such a nice balanced pod it's not too dark it's not too bitter but it's strong enough um it's great with cappuccino it has a caramel caramelly yeah it's in the caramel flavor coffee flavor coffee notes category and so next i'm going to talk about some lungos okay um I generally don't drink lungos, so but I have tried the lungos. I have been ex experimenting with different flavors, and this is what I feel. So the Cape Town lungo is the the darkest roast among all these lungos. I believe it's intensity ten or eleven. It has a smoky flavor, like I like it, and it's one of my favorites. So. It will go here just because it's one of the best lungos it goes in this list uh it has a smoky um rich i think dark caramel like a burnt caramel kind of notes yeah so uh, the difference between this and the venezia i feel that is that with venezia you can't get such a long cup of coffee but with the cape town lungo you can stretch it more so <laughs> you get more volume um the next one is the stockholm lungo this one is okay uh this is in fact the second capsule that i ever tried when i bought my espresso machine and i liked it i used to drink this this one a lot but now i feel that um the flavor profile is not my favorite like i discovered that i don't really like those malty kind of bread yeast flavors in my coffee um so i try to stay away from this kind of coffee but i think it's an okay it i would repurchase this if i suddenly feel like i miss it yeah i would repurchase and i think it has a unique character that um yeah you can differentiate this from others so i know a lot of people love this stockholm lungo so yeah it, it's a good cup of coffee okay the vienna lungo i did not get this like they are marketing as a biscuity bread caramel notes i did not get anything of of that it, it no i i just felt like it's bitter it's overly bitter for the roast level it's a medium roast and it's so bitter and yeah it, it doesn't have a character i feel that but it's not the uh, that acidic or that bad that i would never drink it so i would drink this if someone offered to me but i would not go to purchase it myself okay the tokyo lungo this one is one of the best one of the best and the most unique coffee capsules that nespresso has ever produced so this one i know that not everyone will like because it has a floral scent it's a low roast it's an intensity number six it has a floral scent and I feel that it goes really well with vanilla syrup. It's like a flowery vanilla symphony in your mouth. So <laughs> that sounds so bad. But yeah, it's a, a floral smell. It doesn't taste too strong, but I really like it. It's like, it's one of my must haves in my collection. So. I know my guests like it and it's just one of the unique things that I've not found any other company come up with. So there is Tokyo Lungo, one of the best. 
Now, in comparison, the Shanghai Lung Group, it's one of the worst. I don't know. It just, they are marketing it as having a citrus flavor, which to me, when I tried it in store, it was, oh my God, I was shocked at how sour um, and unpleasant it was. It's supposed to be a low roast and citrus flavor, but I don't know. It's, it just did not work for me. I could not even finish one sip. Uh, it was too, too off to the sour spectrum for me. <laughs> so, um, same goes with the Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires, I've actually purchased it, okay? So the Lung, the Shanghai Lungo, I did not purchase it. I just tried it in store. I did not like, like it and I, I always stayed away from it. The Buenos Aires Lungo, actually I purchased it because I saw coffee YouTubers saying that it's so good, it's so good. It's, oh, it wasn't good. <laughs> The flavor, it's like salted popcorn. So imagine eating salted popcorn in your coffee. I don't know, it's it's just not for me. Coffee capsule day. Inspiration in Napoli, this is number seven, 13 intensity. The most intense ever that Nespresso has put out. It's okay. It's not that intense, so don't be scared. Uh, I feel that the next one, Kazar, is much more intense than Napoli because Kazar has more uh, bitter notes. It has a um, more robusta bean content, which makes it more intense. But I really like it. I like the Kazar one most than Napoli. I cannot explain. It's one of the best capsules to have in iced coffee. Like if you have like Vietnamese coffee, if you like Asian coffee, they have that burnt, smoky, caramel, dark chocolate, like ice cream flavor. And this is it. Like you can make Vietnamese style of coffee with this capsule. It's perfect for uh, condensed milk, for sweetened beverages. It's, it's just so good. Next goes Ristretto, again, one of the best sellers and one of the most balanced pots. Like, it's superb. I feel that I, I wouldn't change anything to it. It has richness, it has depth of flavor. It's so versatile. You can use it hot, cold, iced, with sweetener, without. Yeah, it's just one of the best. Um, Arpeggio is, <laughs> a lot of people will be mad at me. I know that some of my subscribers text me and they say they love the Arpeggio, it's their most uh, purchased coffee. I don't think it's bad, I think it's good. Um, it is good, but I don't think it's the best. <laughs> so for me, the best, it, it must have something unique, something that um, has a hint, but cocoa flavor same like with the chocolatino you can't tell in coffee because it's so subtle cocoa powder does not have a taste on its own when you're eating chocolate you're actually eating milk and sweetener and flavoring and this one is just yeah just a regular cup of coffee it is a good cup of coffee i like it i've purchased it many times it's always in my kit but I don't think it's the absolute best of the best. So, yeah. <laughs> but the good thing about this one is that you can get it in hotels, you can try it, they have it everywhere. It's, yeah, it's one of the classics. So next we are approaching to the last five capsules that I'm going to review. So we have the espresso range so this espresso range is designed for cappuccinos for coffees with milk but also to be drank as a shot which i never do so the entire espresso range the capriccio the voluto they have a few more i always stay away from it like they are too mild to be enjoyed with coffee and their flavors are 
the most intensity five it's weird not for me they're, they're too mild and they have weird taste that it's not nowhere nowhere near the top capsules that i enjoy so i always stay away from that entire range now we have the colombia ethiopia these are master origins so it means that cap capsules come from a specific country from a specific plantation and they have their own unique flavors so i generally like colombian coffee a lot but this one is it bothers me okay it's i feel like it doesn't represent colombian coffee you know what i mean so i feel that they just came up with a flavor and they call it Colombia without meaning anything so the problem that I have with this it, it's good it's a versatile pot you can have it hot you can have it iced you can have it with milk without milk I believe you can have it as a lungo as a short coffee it has a whiny flavor which is not my favorite coffee profile and it goes a bit sour and I feel maybe they are just for coffee connoisseurs and like experts but not for the regular coffee drinker and and the majority of people so the odd ethiopia i'm not sure if i may drink it if there's nothing available because i yeah i tried it with an espresso kit but i did not like it it's too low the the roast is too low it's light it's it has a funny pungent flavor which is yeah yeah i don't know i think it will go to not for me it, it's not for me again i don't think it represents ethiopian coffee i love ethiopian coffee beans i yeah i buy them from starbucks but this no i don't like it it's it's too light too light and the last one finally we made it where should we put the levanto so let me think it goes to the best <laughs> i have a lot of really good coffee recommendation here so yeah levanto is part of the italian uh range but it's the lightest one so lightest one means it's an intensity number six there are not many intensity six that i like but this one is the best this one and the tokyo lungo they are the best intensity number six so the levanto it has caramelly notes so it's similar to the venezia but it's one level below so it's not as intense as Venezia. Venezia is number eight roast. This one is number six roast. They both have caramelly notes. Uh, this one doesn't have a burnt uh, flavor like the Venezia. So if I, th there are some days that I like to drink coffee in the afternoon. So usually my morning coffee, I like to go for something intense like venezia like uh, paris like istanbul like cape town lungo these are perfect to just wake up and i don't know just feel start the day fresh just get a kick of your bitter coffee in the morning but the levanto it's something that it's really enjoyable in the afternoon when you want a mellow cup of coffee you want to read a book you want to relax you don't want something too strong this one the levanto is perfect for that yeah i finally managed to rank i'm i'm surprised that i like so many capsules and equally dislike so many capsules in the middle there's not much because i find that i either like it or i dislike it if, if, yeah these are just my recommendations for nespresso coffee and let me know do we like the same type of coffee do we not like the same type of coffee there's nothing wrong if you like acidic coffee there's nothing wrong if you like intense coffee so there's something for everyone you can see with this espresso coffee ranking that there's 
enough coffee choices to please every drinker so i hope to see you in my next video let me know what else i missed uh, maybe i missed a few capsules i did not touch on limited editions or um just a seasonal coffees because i feel that most people will not be able to find them for long term so these are the classics everyday permanent nespresso range kind of um, coffee capsule that i try to rank today cheers